Hey guys, this is Darnell Sonye, owner of Anubis Games and Hobby, and you're watching Anubis Games and Hobby on YouTube. And hey, I know some of you guys saw the, the last video with the with the things custom, customers say. If you guys fornicate with dragons, hit the like button. Please, hit the like button if you've ever fornicated with dragons. Don't forget to comment and subscribe too. I'm in downtown Lafayette right now, just kinda, just kinda chilling. I got to thinking, you know, what are my views on, on our competition? So in our parish, we have four different competitors in our parish, and all of them have unique attributes with them, you know? And I just wanted to give you guys my view on how I view our competition. Competition. There's nothing negative about them. It's the way I just, I just view it. So stay tuned. Check us out, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. So like I was saying, we have four different local game stores outside of ourselves in Lafayette Parish. And I don't want to put their names out because I didn't ask their permission to put them in this video. So I'm just going to omit them. But in the meantime, I would like to shout them out because uh, I am going to be saying some stuff uh, about you guys. Let me get into some of the good parts of competition. At least in our local area, this is not gonna apply to everybody. But in our area, we for the most part work together. For the most part. Like for instance, right now we had a guy uh, who owns a store who wanted to do a con. He reached out to a bunch of other local businesses, including ours to see if we wanted a free vendor spot at his con. And I thought that was really cool. It would help him out because he wanted just something for a bunch of people to have. You know, he's, he, had a, he had a great turnout, but he wanted some vendors there just to show that, you know, it's active, the community is active. Uh, and it also helped us because we got to sell a whole lot of stuff. Now, unfortunately we couldn't make it because we had just moved to this location. But all in all, the guy was offering us a free spot. So salute, salute to that guy. Uh, and there's other times where sometimes we are just flat out short on a product. We, we under ordered, we got allocated, all kind of things happen. They, it, it happens in a game store. So sometimes we'll reach out to another, another business, go, hey, uh, do you have some spare X product that you could, uh, that you could sell to us? And sometimes, a lot of times, to be honest, they sell it at a, they sell it to us, excuse me, at a price where we could, we could still make money on it, you know, so shout out and y'all know who you are. Thank y'all so much for, for looking out and we try to make sure we, we return the favor, you know, cause I, I do think it's important uh, that we all thrive. We all represent our Lafayette Parish community. So it's important that we all thrive cause we all represent it in some shape or fashion, you know? There's also a store where to be honest, we don't have a good relationship. We don't have a bad relationship uh, with them. We just don't have a relationship. It's probably because the owner is not really seen. I've never met the owner personally in my life, you know, and, and this, these people have been around for an extremely long time. You know, I hear a lot about them, but I've never sat and talked with him, you know, introduced myself. He probably wouldn't even know who I was, to be honest. So nothing negative, nothing positive. We just really don't have a relationship. And there's one uh, who recently bought an old store from, from uh, one of our competitors that uh, seems really nice. Seems like he has a great idea and want to do a lot of things uh, with his store going forward. You know, wish him all the best. Don't know much about him. We just we just met a few months ago, so seems like it's all cool on on that end. And then there's the ugly part of competition, where somebody wants to dismantle your your credibility or try to take all your customers. Uh, I've seen both sides. You know, the good side and the bad side uh, to competition. Here's the bad side, and I'm only gonna tell you this story because I went in said person's store and verified it, and the owner himself manned up and said, yeah, I was I was actually spreading these rumors about you. So here's the negative. They had a guy who, who owned the store, and he went around for whatever reason, I have no idea why he would do this, but he went, went around telling people that we paid our employees in store credit. First off, it isn't true. It wasn't even true. Second off, you know, even if, even if I was, why is that your concern? Why, why are you concerned? 
right? So people kept coming in the store, uh, Anubis, and telling me this. I'm like, man, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go see because I, I do take what people say with a grain of salt, especially when it comes to things like that. People are messy, you know. So I just say, hey, let me just go in there and figure it out. We can talk about it. So I went in that person's store, and uh, we talked, you know, just all kind of other stuff. And then I said, oh, by the way, by the way, were you telling people that we, we pay our employees in store credit? He said, yeah, absolutely. And you shouldn't do it. That was his words. That was his words to me. And then I got upset. I said, why would you do something like that? You know, why would you do that? People already think there's a rift between us. But it's things like this that cause a rift between us. Basically, I'm saying shut the hell up. Shut up. You know, what you do, what you do in your store is your business. I hope that you represent our community well. You know, but don't don't involve me because we don't talk about y'all like that. We don't talk about y'all like that in our store. You know, now this may come off as me be, kind of being angry. I've well been past that that incident a long time ago, a long time ago, and since then. He's no longer a store owner, at least to my knowledge. He's not a store owner anymore, you know, for whatever reason. But I do wish that guy the best. But all in all, when it comes to a game store, we do have to work together in some capacity. Because we, whenever this pandemic ends and we all do events, we're all gonna have to come together and say, hey, listen, we're doing a pre-release on X day. When are you doing your pre-release? Okay, we're not gonna do it on that time. When are you doing your pre-release? Okay, we'll make sure we don't do it on that time. So we all have to work together so that we could all all benefit together, you know? And for the greater good of the community. Because I mean, if say, say for example, we're all doing a, a pre-release and we all wanna do it at the same time. Well then the community is gonna be split and neither one of us is gonna get a good turnout, right? So I do have a, mindset of abundance you know and i believe that we can all thrive in our communities working together than than just being split apart you know i don't i don't have that i gotta conquer control and conquer mentality with any of our competitors because i think they're all necessary for the growth of our gaming community our community as a whole you know and maybe i'm maybe i'm alone thinking that way i hope i'm not you know but that is my thoughts behind it. So I don't I don't feel threatened when I, I walk in in other people's store. And I hope they don't feel threatened coming to us. You know, although I think I'm the one that goes out and, and, and networks, to be honest. I think I'm that guy. But I walk, I talk with people, let them know who I am, what we're doing, you know. And then it's all love. Wish them the best. And every time I walk into a local game store, I, I always purchase something. Always purchase something. Even if I have everything, you know, our store carries you know, most of the things that these other competitors do, I always try to purchase something because it's really important to keep our LGSs open. So not to stray too far from our competition aspect, but I do think if ever you decide to open up a store like this, I think it's extremely important to network yourself, either with other game stores, other businesses, because you never know, you never, never, never know when information you have learned from these stores will come into play in your own store. And I, I do that. I walk every store, every store I walk in, whether it's a competitor, direct competitor, a restaurant, a big box retailer, I walk in and I try to walk out with information or see something or learn something that I didn't know before I walked in. And I think that's extremely important because you could learn through the smallest interactions or you could just be observant see something and go, wow, maybe, how could I, how could I incorporate that in our store? You know, everything. I, I went in other places and I've learned how to lay out a store or, or lay out this store, how we're gonna lay it out, which is somewhat of the product you see today. I'm gonna have to do a walkthrough of this, this store one day for everybody. I'm gonna have to do that, I'm gonna have to just do that. But I think it's, it's crucial that you go in every store, if, even if you don't want to, even if you don't wanna open up a store, go in or go somewhere and try to walk out with something that you didn't know before you went in. That's my challenge to everybody. That's my challenge. That's my challenge. That's my challenge. All right? So in closing, you know, everything I said, I want to wish nothing but luck and success 
to all of our competitors. And the four of you who watch this video know exactly who I'm talking about. You know, so I wish you all the best, nothing but success. And I would hope you wish the same upon us. You know, please just whatever y'all do, make sure y'all keep our community first. Cause I know I am. Y'all be easy guys. Thank y'all for watching.